I love Minecraft. It's one of the only games nowadays that I still play casually. So, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, you probably aren't, but... On March 31st, 2023, YouTube friend Mr. Matt held another charity stream. This time, it was for One Earth. I'll talk about them a little bit later on. So, in this charity stream, he would play a game made specifically for charity stream, and also Minecraft Hardcore, which I'm kind of terrible at, but we don't have to talk about that. Now, see, there, there was something a bit funky about this. See, this wasn't just any Hardcore world. This was UHC Hardcore. Now, what is UHC, you might be asking. If you don't know, it basically just means Ultra Hardcore. Now, what's the difference between Hardcore and Ultra Hardcore? Well, of course, you have the basic, you die, it's over deal. In Ultra Hardcore, Saturation or it will not heal you. Now, there were two rounds for this. If you want to know how I did on the second round, then you're going to have to go and watch his stream. Some very interesting stuff happened there. Oh, boy. Okay, let me just, uh... Oh, my God. What? Dude, there's diamond armor? This is actually nuts. However, I did record the first one. So, with that out of the way, let's go to day number one. Starting on day one, Matt teleported us all out to random positions all around the map once we were all loaded in. And I got the, probably the worst possible spawn. Uh, yeah. Uh, this biome is not known for being plentiful with trees. It's kinda, yeah, it, it's terrible. There's also not many caves around, either. Um, and although I wasn't able to get to a tree pretty quickly, that would end up being some of my only wood for a while. Yeah, that, that's not good. Anyway, for we given up resistance and uh, regeneration for the first day, so that way we not have we not have any early deaths. Later, I got some stone and made some tools and also a furnace. Although I'm, for some reason the other players were pointing out how I got there really quickly. I'm not cheating. Like I literally just grabbed stone as soon as I could. It's it's not that hard. In Hardcore Minecraft, you need food to survive. It's the only kind of... It's the only version of Minecraft where if you get hungry enough, you can actually die. So, I had to find food fast. Thankfully, there were some sheep. So, I killed them and ate them. They are very tasty. After doing a bit of adventuring, I eventually stumbled across this village. However, it did not have that much stuff really worth making. I did notice a blast furnace, which I did take, because I thought... Hey, it might be good to smell my stuff faster. However, I, uh, I forgot about it throughout the entire challenge and literally never used it. I always just used my furnace. Yeah, that was, a uh, that was kind of a waste of time. Anyway, I took a bed, mined some coal, and went on my merry way. Since the village didn't really have anything of interest, I decided to continue going, but then I stumbled across the world border. I decided to take a perch and see if it was actually moving. I couldn't tell. So, I looked, and yes, it was moving, very slowly, but it was still moving. So, I ran away. Now, even though I'm out of the snow biome, I still had a lot of trouble finding caves. A lot of them, like this one, were underwater. However, nearby this area, there was actually a village, and I thought, oh wait, I can actually get some loot. No, I couldn't. You wanna know why? It's because the world border had engulfed over half of it. I was hoping to actually get a blacksmith here so I could get some gear, but uh, no. The word border probably swallowed the only one. If not, there probably even wasn't one. So, I decided to just get out of there. Eventually, I found this coast, and I was like, Hey, you know what, if I craft a boat, I can actually find good caves and catch up to everyone else because I was starting to really lack behind at this point. I was still using stone tools. Uh, yeah, no. It wouldn't be long before I hit ice and decided to continue traveling on land. I returned to the ocean later at, on the night of day one. Though until then, I continued walking on land. Eventually I stumbled into a spruce forest, I, I think they're called taigas or something. I don't remember what they're called, but anyway, there I actually found a dog or two. I thought, hey, maybe mutton can uh, contain them. Now I'll have someone to help me if I get into a uh, PvP combat. Uh, yeah, no. Mutton doesn't do shit. I just wasted my mutton on them. Little bastards. You no, know, but kind of remind me of my actual dog, Max. He's very cute. Cool. He only does the two things. Eat, and do nothing useful. 
But at night time of day one, I had to craft a new boat because I forgot my old one, and began sailing through the Arctic Sea. This went on being most of what I did on the night of day one. So, I guess since I'm just gonna be on a boat for a while, I may as well tell you about One Earth. One Earth is a nonprofit organization working to accelerate collective action to solve the climate crisis through groundbreaking science, inspiring media, and an innovative approach to climate philanthropy. The solutions for a climate crisis already exist in latest science, superheaded by One Earth, shows we can achieve the 1.5 Celsius goal, limiting average global temperature rise to 1.5 Celsius through three pillars of action. A trust trend. Position to 100% renewable energy, protection, and restoration of half the world's lands and oceans, and a shift to net zero food systems and fiber and shed. To achieve this goal, we must rapidly scale climate energy to meet critical funding gaps over the coming decade. So, that's just gonna give you a quick idea about it. So, that's just gonna give you a quick idea about it. Anyway, here's where we actually found the ocean monument. I knew that it would be pretty much useless to me here, so I decided to just skip over it. I continued on my boat when I found, uh, and yeah, this one gave me mining fatigue, and apparently it was mining fatigue 3. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't even know if that was a thing. I thought it was just one mining fatigue, but I guess not. And that became kind of detrimental to me because starting day 2, I found iron. Two pieces of it in the hillside, but still, I found iron. That, uh, ooh. Since I had mine fatigue, I couldn't mine it. And Jake Bash worse, there was a zombie. And a baby one too. That's bad. Yeah, so this is really bad. I did not have armor, I didn't have a shield. I was front right from the beginning of the challenge. I was worried that I would be the first one to die. I wanted to be able to at least prove that I could in fact survive one of these challenges. I was probably just see, I got knocked down to two hearts. Wow. These things are strong. Thankfully, I lured them into the water, and I was able to kill both of them. However, for a long time, I would have- I had two hearts. Yeah, that's bad. Eventually, my mining fatigue wore off, and I was able to mine up the iron. There was only two, but nonetheless, I would be able to make a shield. So, that's good at least. So, if I saw some trees and decided to get some wood to make a shield. However, I saw Matt. Yeah, server owner, you know, the main live streamer, and, uh, you know, another player on the server. I panicked. I thought he didn't see me, so I ducked down behind a ledge. I was panicking, because remember, as you can probably see, I'm on two hearts. That's really bad. However, little did I know, we actually had the same brain cell moment. Now, both of us thought that we, uh, both of us decided not to be confrontational, and instead decided to just run away. However, I didn't realize that at the time. I thought he had not seen me, so I decided to just stay away. Anyway, I left the snowy biome again, and uh, I found more iron. With this iron, I was able to finally make an iron pickaxe. I was a bit late, but you know what? Better late than never. I did a little bit more adventuring, and I found a huge cave. However, I only had enough sticks to make four torches. That's not a lot. And again, this cave was huge. Kinda like your mom. Anyway, I realized pretty quickly that this cave was dangerous, and I should probably get the hell out of there. However, I decided to quickly nab some iron that I saw, and then after that, I got out of there. Remember, if you don't have much gear, then don't mess with the big caves, if you're gonna die. So anyway, I noticed some spruce trees, and I thought, hey, you know what, I may as well punch some leaves to get some apples, so that way when I get gold, I can make a golden apple. Y yeah, sounds like a good idea, right? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, spruce trees don't drop apples, only oak ones do, but I didn't know that at the time. So I just punched a lot of spruce leaves and chopped some trees for pretty much no reason. That wasn't a total loss, I smelted some iron and you finally able to get an iron sword. It's good! Anyway, I made a spare pickaxe and uh, I made a bit of a dumb mistake. I uh, went into a four block uh, fall. If you don't know why it's a mistake, it took me down to one heart. That could have killed me, and I would have been the first person out right there. Thankfully I didn't die, but yikes. Anyway, I decided to start digging down to try to find some resources. Sure, my is not that good in a 1.19, and we were playing the server 1.19.4, so stream mining generally was not going to help. However, in I was continuing digging into day three, and I finally found some gold. Eight gold, actually. 
That's enough gold to make one golden apple. The thing is, I don't have any apples, and we have to find some in the morning. Though I quickly figured out that I was not going to be able to stay in the cave for too long, as while I was digging down towards Deep Sea, because that's where gold was, I stumbled across the world border that was right in front of me. That was terrifying. So I quickly ran away. I decided that once the gold was done smelting, I would get the hell out of that cave. I knew that it was not safe. However, yeah, um, as you can probably see, Matt found diamonds. That was awfully concerning. You know, I wanted to actually be able to win, but uh, yeah, he found diamonds. That, that's not good. I was really worried that he might have got enough diamonds for a sword. Yeah, that's, that was kind of scary. Especially since the world border was starting to close in. So kind of embarrassing, but I, I paused the recording temporarily and forgot to unpause it until I was out of the cave. And I had more iron. And again, I still did not know that uh, spruce leaves didn't actually give you apples. And I realized that later. But again, I still did not know that at this time. Ooh, that's a lot of wasted iron. I should probably also mention that I actually proposed an alliance with Insta. You know, pretty cool guy. Pretty cool Bulgarian man. You know, I, I proposed an alliance with him. If I gave him a golden apple, we would have a 20 minute alliance. 20 minutes is one Minecraft day. I thought that would work. However, I needed the golden apple that I was preparing. So, uh, yeah, I'd have to get double the gold I had, and I didn't know how I'd get that at the time. So, I knew that soon I was gonna have to go into the Deep Slate Caves. As I did not want to get potentially assassinated for not giving a guy a golden apple. So I did some more adventuring before I finally found an, an oak forest. By this point, I realized that uh, spruce trees did not give apples, and only really oak ones did. So uh, yeah, I finally found them. However, while I was doing that, uh, well, as you can see in the chat, uh, yeah, we had the first death on day three. Creeper Hacks was shot by a skeleton. That would be the first death in this series. And, but you know what? I was personally just happy that I was not the first one to die. Anyway, I was able to finally get an apple, and I finally made... I was able to finally get an apple, craft it into a golden apple with the gold I had, and finally get two hearts back, because the regeneration doesn't last that long. But, you know, it's still progress. Well, did we know, however? Creeper hacks would not be the only fatality we had on day three. Anyway, I began digging toward the deep slate. I wanted to do that way earlier, but again, I had a very slow start because we all collectively agreed after this round, but um, uh, yeah, we had a horrible seed. Anyway, I continued digging down, but I had a little bit of run in with lava, but it wasn't a big deal. And I finally reached the deep slate. However, you see, you know how I just said, um, uh, you know, about creeper hacks would not be the only fatality. And now earlier, I said I made, I was gonna make an alliance with and stuff. I gave him a golden apple. Um, y yeah, you can just forget about me having an alliance with Insta. No, he died. He, Insta would be the second fatality on day three. He suffocated from falling gravel. That's a very rough way to go. However. I didn't really say it out loud, but uh, that actually did relieve some stress. I wouldn't have to worry about potentially getting assassinated, so that's good. Kind of. Also, I'm pretty sure I forgot to turn my camera back on at some point because I'm, uh... Yeah, Potato died. She was the third fatality on day three. There was five of us, which means it's at this point, it would have just been me and Matt. After that, though, uh, I decided to do just some more exploring after all that mining. And would you look at that? I stumbled upon the first place where I found iron. However, the little spot that I got iron out of, um, well, yeah. It got swallowed by the barrier. Eh, oh well. Eventually, as it turned over into day four, still midnight, by the way, I ended up by myself in just because there were a lot of mobs out there, and I knew for a fact that I would die. Thing is, we were actually coordinating a uh, final battle between me and Matt in a call. But I don't have the game. I don't have the audio on right now, because then it would uh, it would get really weird with the uh, narrator audio that I'm providing. 
So, by the time day four finally began, truly, well, you know, when the sun rose, I was teleported back to the Starter Island. I was teleported back to the Starter Island where I saw Matt for the first time again in a few days. Uh, yeah, as soon as I saw him, I knew that I was toast. Um, I only had iron boots. He had full iron and gold boots. So, yeah, I began towering up. And eventually, he took after me. It eventually turned into this fight in the sky, essentially. I kept building defenses up the cobblestone that I had in my inventory. However, he, Matt had a trick up his sleeve. A fishing rod. He used a fishing rod to essentially try to pull me back. It didn't really work, but it did scare me. We kept towering up really high, but I did run out of cobblestone. Thankfully, I had cobble deep slate on me. I was trying to figure out a way that I could possibly do this smartly, but considering how I still only had three cards and he probably was at near full health, I knew that I would probably have to dive back down maybe, and maybe trick him into hitting the ground. But that was probably going to be near impossible. Nonetheless, I decided to dive down from the huge tower I built and down into the ocean. He was able to get back down, and finally, I would be the final fatality. So, yeah, day four is the final day. Uh, that was it. Matt ended up being the winner of round one. As for who won round two, you're gonna have to go and watch the full live stream replay. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kinda glad I didn't record the second round because, well, I'm gonna be honest, this one was just so much better for content. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. If you enjoyed, well, leave a like and subscribe, it'll really help the channel out, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.